I'm Scott Mostoller with ClearTouch Interactive, and we're going to go over a full overview of the 6000 series ClearTouch panel, all the software features and all the hardware features of our panel today. So first of all, ClearTouch does offer five different panel sizes ranging from a 55 inch, a 65, a 70, a 75 inch, and then that largest panel, which is the 86 inch display. A couple things about the panel is it is an industrial grade panel, so it has that metal surround on it. Uh, it actually has a layer of four millimeter tempered glass over the front of it. So it's actually meant to be touched and interacted with, wheeled from room to room. So very durable, very rugged to uh, handle things like that K-12 education environment. So there's actually two operating sides of the panel. I have the optional slot PC that fits into the back and I'll show you what that looks like. It's just a slot PC that fits right directly into the back of the panel. You can see the antennas there. You can image that with whatever disk image that you want. Uh, I have mine imaged with Windows 10 Pro. You can load any other software on it and it hangs off of your network just like any other PC would on your network. But again, there's actually two operating sides of the panel. So if I hit the home button on my ClearTouch panel, that's gonna take me over to the Android side of the panel. So the Android side controls all of your on-screen menu functions, your inputs, uh, and things like that. So we'll take a look at a couple of pieces of software on the Android side. First one we're gonna look at is EasyNote. Now EasyNote, you're not gonna build a robust flip chart presentation with it. It's really just today's modern dry erase board that allows you to get in, take some quick notes, and be able to export and save that back out. So all of our clear touch panels have that 20 points of touch, multiple points of touch, uh, recognizes things like gesture erasing. So if I just flatten my hand, it turns into an eraser. I don't need to switch tool sets or anything like that. But what I really love about our whiteboarding features is if I select this hand tool, then that allows me to put it into what we call infinite canvas mode. So if I select that hand tool, uh, I can push everything up out of the way, continue taking notes on my panel, no reason to write small or anything like that, just select that hand tool to extend your whiteboard space. Also supports things like pinch to zoom, uh, I can really zoom in on uh, items like that or whatever. Next thing we'll look at is clear touch collage. And what collage is going to allow us to do is to wirelessly screen share up to four devices at any one time. So as one device logs on, it's going to take it full screen, and as other people join in, it's going to start tiling them out in that tiling pattern uh, up to four users at one time. So I've installed the Collage app just on a simple Android tablet here in my studio. So I'm going to go ahead and launch the Collage app and type in this unique PIN code. It's a security PIN code that's unique to each panel. So 428559. And now it gives me the option to start sharing my screen directly to the ClearTouch panel. I actually have this in acceptance mode uh, or permissions mode so that uh, the presenter would have to accept that person sharing their content to the screen. You could also disable and turn that off. So now I'm remotely screen sharing my contents to the ClearTouch panel. I can go into landscape or portrait mode. And again, I can launch uh, web browsers, share PowerPoints, create my presentation share it up to the screen wirelessly. And again, you can have up to four devices that's easily selectable for each of those four devices to be able to go full screen with that. Another popular thing that I've also seen uh, teachers and instructors do is turn their camera or their phone, their tablet into a camera mode so maybe they can show a document on a student's desk or use it as a document camera or anything like that. So great, cool way to be able to turn that into an instant document camera very quickly on the fly. There's a couple of ways to be able to change inputs on the ClearTouch panel. Now every panel does come with a standard TV remote, very much like you change your input selection on your television at home, or there's a couple of other ways to do it on the panel directly. So if I come over and hit the cog wheel button, that's going to bring up all of my inputs. Or if you want to do it a little more cool, slick way, you can swipe up from the ClearTouch logo, brings up all of those inputs. You see we have three HDMI inputs, a display port, VGA and AV for that legacy gear. And I do have that optional PC that's installed in my panel. So we'll jump over to the PC side of things and we'll show you some of the software that comes preloaded on the PC side of the panel. And again, all the software that I'm talking about today, it is included with the panel. There's no recurring subscription fees or anything like that. So uh, we do provide constant regular updates on our software as well. So the first one we'll look at is Easy Connect. And Easy Connect is actually going to allow us to do the opposite of what we did with Collage. So rather than wirelessly screen share my content from my device to the panel, 
we're going to be able to remotely control and view the contents on the panel with our mobile device. Again, works for any operating system. I've named my PC here Studio 2, so I'm just going to again be on that same wireless network. Select Studio 2, now I'm connected to the panel, and then I can go into screen projection and remote desktop mode. And now everything that is on my ClearTouch panel is now directly viewed on my Android tablet. And I have full touch control capability over that as well. So we also give you some pen tools to be able to annotate over that. So if I have a PowerPoint or anything pulled up, I can be able to annotate directly onto my panel. Uh, you can also use it as a PowerPoint clicker or kind of a large oversized mouse pad. But again, just a quick way that you can be able to use your tablet or an iPad, maybe sitting on a podium, to be able to wirelessly control a presentation directly onto the ClearTouch panel. So we'll go ahead and close out of that. Let's take a look at EasyNote on the PC side of the panel. So EasyNote is another free piece of software with more robust pen set tools than what we had on the Android side of the panel. So I can select the pen tools. You can see that we have different brushes we can choose from. I can choose my line weighting, maybe pick a, a color. And we still support that 20 points of touch within EasyNote, gesture erasing without having to change any tool sets. And again, we still have that infinite canvas mode as well. But what's really neat about this is that I can add different pages as I go along, so I can really build out kind of a flip chart presentation. And I can also pair it with Easy Capture, which is a video recordings piece of software that we give you with the panel. So I'm going to go ahead and minimize out a note, launch into Easy Capture, and I'll go ahead and hit the record button and go full screen for you. And I actually have a USB web camera that's hooked up to my panel. So I can go ahead and maybe put myself in the upper left hand corner and hit the big red record button over here. It's going to give me a nice countdown. And now we can quickly jump back into Note. And maybe I wanted to have my class practice on some algebra equations or questions. So we can do a couple of those. So x uh, plus 8 equals 12. And let's do y minus 9 equals 25. So now I've saved that off. I can go ahead and minimize back out of Note. Go ahead and hit Easy Capture and hit the Stop button. And that's going to bring up a nice video preview of what we just captured on the panel within the Note program. So we have a couple of options where you can export that out. Or we give you a built-in free editor as well where you can edit your content. So if I select the editing factor, I can go ahead and bring this down into my timeline. I can add additional media with it. I can do dissolves, transitions really spice it up a little bit if I wanted to. And then once your timeline is set the way you want it, come up here, hit export. It's going to save it off as an MP4 file so you can share it out to cloud storage, uh, email it to your class, put it on your class page, or have that substitute teacher come in the next day and go ahead and play that created lesson plan that you just did. So again, lots of great ways that you can go in and be able to utilize multiple pieces of software at the same time. The next software we're going to show you is Snowflake Multi-Teach. So we're going to go ahead and launch into that at the bottom of the taskbar there. And as Snowflake loads, I want you to think of it as one piece of software with many different applications wrapped up into it. So when we launch into Snowflake, uh, you have all of these different apps that you can choose from. Uh, there's some fun games and things to play. But this is also what allows you to split it into zones where if you go with our convertible stand, then you can actually put it into that tabletop mode to be able to have multiple people interacting with the panel at one time. And that's really where that 20 points of touch comes into play when you put it into that tabletop mode. I'm going to go ahead and launch into Canvas because Canvas is really where we're going to be able to build out that robust flip chart presentation experience that you can build out ahead of time if you'd like. The software is also available to install on your Mac or your PC. So you could find it much easier to build out your lesson plans or presentations on your laptop device and then be able to save it back to the panel and open it up and you're ready to go for class or that meeting the next day. So the nice thing again, all supports that 20 points of touch, multiple touch, same thing with the gesture erasing. And if I select the crosshatch here, again, we can put it into that infinite canvas mode. But what I really love about canvas is that we can bring in native Google browsers and websites directly into our session. So for example, if I wanted to uh, do a presentation maybe on space, I can go ahead and just go out and do a web search for anything and everything space and be able to select a website that I can go to. 
And again, we can quickly start to build out those different web browsers without having multiple tabs open or anything like that. But also really neat is we gave you the ability, if I select the picture image icon there, is that you can bring in multimedia as well. So you can select either from an internal drive or your Google Drive or Microsoft OneDrive or even a thumb drive, insert that into one of the three USB 3.0 ports in the front. Or I can just do a direct internet search as well. So again, we'll stick with that same theme and we'll do an image search for space. And it's gonna go out to the internet and see what kind of cool images it can bring up for space. And uh, I really like that one. So I can go ahead and bring that one in, pull that into my presentation. But we also give you the ability to bring in YouTube videos into your lesson plan, or your presentation as well. You can insert any other kind of video, multimedia, anything that you want and bring it directly into your Canvas session. So we'll do a quick search for space. Here's a nice Discovery Channel video that we can bring right into our presentation. Hit the play button and that's gonna play directly in there. I can also click on that, be able to take it full screen. And it also cuts out all of the commercial content at the head of that YouTube video. So hit, take it back down to not full screen mode. And again, we still have this infinite canvas, uh, multiple interaction going on within this. Now, as I build out my presentation, I'll hit the plus be able to bring up a brand new canvas to where again, I can continue taking notes, anything that I want to do. So as you build out this robust presentation, make it completely interactive. You can have multiple people up here interacting at any one time. It's really up to you and using your creativity and how you want to build out your content. If I come over here and hit the snowflake menu, this allows me to go into zones mode. And again, that's what gets us into that tabletop mode where I can split the panel into four different zones and have multiple people interacting around the panel. And in order to do that, I have this split zone mode over here, and you can see those inverted arrows that allow me to put it into that tabletop mode. And then if I hit the plus button here, it also brings up several other options. I actually like to choose uh, this three screen split screen option. So that again, maybe I could have my whiteboarding over here to where I'm continuing to take bullet point notes or anything like that. And then over here, maybe I wanna launch a YouTube video and a lesson plan possibly down here. So the YouTube video might support my content on my lesson plan. And again, we can take notes. And when we're done, we can always export and save that out. I can export it as a PDF, or I can do a save as and save it back to my network drive. So again, completely possible to be able to save off these presentations, build them ahead of time, have them ready to go when you're ready to do your presentation or your lesson plan. I'll show you how to build out a quick lesson plan within this. Now we do have a very robust online, already pre-built community of a bunch of lesson plans that are out there uh, that might be pertinent to whatever your teaching or your curriculum is of that particular time. Or you can go in and you can build out your own lesson plan as well. And in order to do that, you just hit the Create New Lessons tab, and then it brings up 16 different templates that you can choose from. So for example, a range in the upper left-hand corner, that's gonna allow you to do an interactive timeline. Maybe I have some images of World War II and I can build those out in a timeline and have students be able to put those in chronological order. Flashcards for math problems or spelling words. But to show you just real quickly, I like to choose the Spinner Lesson app. Maybe we're going to see which students interact with the panel that day. I can import my uh, roll call or my roster from my class from a CSV file or an Excel spreadsheet or I can just go ahead and directly type them in. And remember, you can build this out ahead of time with the software loaded on your Mac or your laptop. So I'm just gonna build that out real quick. And as I do, you'll see that content start to be added over here on the uh, upper right-hand portion of the screen. So now that I've typed in some students' names, I can go ahead and close down my keyboard, hit the play button, and it's pre-built this nice interactive spinner to see which student maybe gets to come up and interact with the panel next. And it looks like it's gonna be Mike's turn in the class to be able to come up and have some fun on the ClearTouch panel. So very quick and easy ways that you can build out all kinds of interactive lesson plans. You can change the backgrounds, add images, add music, sound effects, whatever you wanna to do to customize your app. Every panel does come with a standard on-site three-year warranty that's expandable to five. And with each ClearTouch panel, remember this is a 4K UHD high-resolution display. 
So you're gonna get that nice crisp clean image, no changing projector lamps, recalibrating screens. Those days are gone. ClearTouch Interactive is actually the last panel provider that's based wholly and owned wholly in the United States. So if you call our help desk or our service technicians, you're actually going to get a real life person that answers the phone. You're not gonna be stuck in some queue or waiting like that. And we do really take pride in our service department and servicing our panels. We also offer one last thing, and that's ClearTouch Academy. So if you go to our getclearTouch.com website, you can go to uh, the tab and select ClearTouch Academy. All you have to do is sign up for ClearTouch Academy. This is a free online learn at your own pace lessons of all of the software that I've covered. And there's also a nice online community that you can bounce ideas and questions off of as well. Thanks for your time. I'm Scott with ClearTouch. Have a great day.